Hey everyone. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about building dashboards in Excel and some of the things to keep in mind so that you can have a dashboard that has dynamic data that updates and changes and doesn't necessarily break your layout. So one of the biggest limitations in Excel when you're doing dashboards is that it doesn't have a responsive design, right? Responsive design means elements that change shape or change layout according to your screen size or according to the amount of data that's pushed into a particular area. So for example, with a metric like this that I've dropped into the dashboard, um, let me zoom in here, you'll notice that, you know, right now it's a six figure metric, 108,000, but I've left plenty of white space here on the right. That's just empty space in case this number is ever bigger, in case maybe in this made up example of a monthly sales, <laughs> uh, of monthly sales, maybe this number at some point gets into the millions or the hundreds of millions. And if we, if it did get that much bigger, we would have to have one, two, three, one, two, three, right? We'd have to have more uh, space for the larger number to fit in because the font size is not gonna change. Um, it's something to consider across kind of all of your dashboards that you make, the fact that numbers change. One month you might have zero, one month you might have a hundred million, theoretically, <laughs> uh, depending on your business. And you want to think about building a dashboard that kind of accounts for all of those scenarios. Um, so again, leaving enough space is kind of the most important part. So you'll see here, I've left a lot of space to the right. When we have monthly change, which is a percentage, the highest this goes is 100%. So I have to have enough room in there so that if it's 100%, it's still gonna fit. Um, the same thing sort of applies to charts. But charts do have a certain level of responsiveness built into them. For example, if we only had three months of data here, the chart would adjust to have three bars that fill up the space. That is useful and effective and it can be great, but you need to think about it a little bit when you are where you're when you're choosing the data that your chart is pointing at. So if you have a set list, let's say it's 12 months and it's always 12 months, when you design your chart, it's pretty easy to choose your font sizes. It's pretty easy to choose your labels. It's pretty easy to do all that stuff because you kind of know exactly how much space you have to work with. In this example, right, I knew I didn't have enough room to fit 268,000 as a whole number. So I've shortened it to 268K because I know that there's that set amount of space for me there. I don't have any more. And if I try to fit the whole number, I'd have to have the font be so small, it wouldn't be readable. Um, it's, it's easy in this case, but if you have a chart and that chart might vary from having one month of data to two years of data, you have to be a little more thoughtful and do a little bit more testing for both of those scenarios see what it looks like when there's only one month of data. It might look terrible and that's often the case and you might have to account for that another way. Or you might just have to say, hey, we're not gonna use this chart until we have more data available. Um, and then you have to think about what's this gonna look like with 24 months of data. And what that often means is when you have too much data, your labels don't fit anymore and everything kind of has to be adjusted. Your labels aren't gonna be in the data in a way that's legible and you might have to then consider highlighting the important data another way. Maybe you have to have a table beneath it or something else that's a little more granular that highlights the data without putting it into a visualization like this. Those are the big things that come up when I'm doing dashboards like this. It's, um, it's not the end of the world, right? It doesn't mean you can't build a dashboard. It just means going into it, take a kind of simple common sense approach. How big could this number get? Do I have enough room for it if that number gets that big? How many months worth of data might go in here? Do How does it look when I only have one month? And how does it look when I have the maximum number of months? And just do one pass of that. And if you do that one pass, it's gonna save you a lot of headache down the road. It's a really great use of your time. Uh, and I highly suggest it for anyone doing any kind of dashboard design, either on Excel or out of Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks so much. Uh, really appreciate y'all tuning in and I'll have more coming up soon.